what's up guys, it's Lucas, and today we are checking out a very inexpensive tube amplifier. This is the Monoprice uh, Stage Right 15 All Tube 15 Watt Amplifier. It's a pretty decent sounding little amp. Now what makes this really cool is that it's so inexpensive. So uh, this you can buy on Monoprice or some other places probably too, like Amazon or something, for uh, basically $200 shipped to you, which for a tube amp is just insanely cheap. The reason that I bought it is uh, I've been looking at some of the comments on some of the videos that I make where I do demos of distortion pedals or something like that and uh, one thing that people point out is that well your amp is so good like you know you're using a Mesa Boogie whatever and it, and it sounds so good that it makes the distortion pedal sound good and that is to some extent a valid point so I thought uh, it might be good for me to have something like this which is just a really really bare bones inexpensive kind of amplifier uh, to do uh, test kind of like distortion pedals and stuff through so that you can really get an idea of what you can do with that pedal, let that pedal shine rather than it being overshadowed by you know whatever the amp that I'm using is. This amp has controls for gain, it's a master volume control, it has a tone control and that really is like an extremely powerful presence knob um, and it's got uh, bass, middle and treble, kind of standard three band EQ and then there's a knob here on the end to control the reverb mix. This button over here on the far side controls whether it's in the full power 15 watt operation or if it's switched down to what they call one watt, um, which uh, drops the master volume considerably. I'm gonna start with everything, with this exception of the reverb, everything is at noon. So, uh, and we're in the full power mode. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty loud, like you wouldn't wanna play with this in an apartment or something this way. Um, but you can just hear kind of what it sounds like with everything straight up. and everything is set halfway up, or I should say gain is set halfway up. Um, it has kind of a chimey sort of almost Vox quality to it, which you would kind of expect because it's a small combo. It's got EL84 power tubes. So, um, you know, it's kind of Vox-ish in that nature. Anyway, if I just crank the gain control up and leave everything else the way it is, that sounds like this. distorted I mean as distorted as like an old Marshall or something would get and that's with the uh, master volume halfway up so as you drive the master power section you'll get power tube distortion as well which will add to some of the kind of compression and stuff anyway just so you can hear what that sounds like I'm gonna take the uh, gain control we'll put it at three o'clock we're gonna turn the master up to three o'clock and then leave everything else the way it is so now you're gonna get a little bit more kind of power tube saturation a little bit less from the front end <laughs> Okay, so let's explore some of the other controls on the knob now that you've kind of got an idea of what it'll do as far as gain-wise. First, let's start with the tone control. So the tone control is very powerful on this amp. So if I set the tone control all the way down, darkens it up, um, kind of in a nice way, sort of sweetens it up. If I just leave everything where it is but turn the tone knob completely up, <laughs> 
So you can hear in that setting, it's very bright, very crisp, um, much like old kind of small champ type amps will get, you know, if you really crank everything up. Before we kind of try to dial in what I think are some really good sounds, um, let's just kind of show you what the reverb will do. So the reverb has been off this whole time. If I set the reverb knob to, you know, the number three, <laughs> So if I, you know, let's push it up to say about two o'clock. And just so you can hear what it'll do, I'll crank it all the way up. Keep in mind too, this is an old school kind of tube amp sound. It's not super polished. It's a little bit ragged and rough sounding. That's kind of just the, you know, the nature of these old kind of style tube amps. Uh, I think this amp sounds, it reminds me a lot of the tone of like the really, really early cream stuff when Clapton was using Marshalls that were not quite as finessed yet. Um, kind of reminds me of that like sort of strange brew sound where it's, it's kind of bitey. <laughs> stage right 15 um, of course you can play you know any kind of music you want to with it but I think it lends itself to that kind of uh, medium gain type to lower gain type sounds um, I don't know that I would say that this is a great amp for gigging just because it doesn't have a ton of headroom so um, unless you've got a really good PA system where you got everything mic'd up um, or you're doing a really small kind of like coffee shop type gig I don't know that this amp is gonna have enough like fullness to translate and make the guitar sound good. Um, you know, it'd probably be loud enough, you could be heard, but I don't know that it would sound so great. Um, but as a home practice and recording type amp, I think this is really cool. 
um, especially for 200 bucks. So anyway, I think it sounds pretty good. The speaker needs to be broken in some. I may do some little modifications here to it here and there, but I think this is going to be a really good platform um, for me to show you pedals and stuff so that uh, the, you know, armchair quarterbacks are not like, oh man, that, that amp just sounds so good that like, it's really not the pedal, it's the amp. So if the pedal sounds good through this amp, then it's a pretty good pedal. I think that's fair to say. So anyway, I hope this has been cool and informative for you. Check out one of these amps. You can pick one up pretty cheap. And uh, until next time, I've been Lucas and I will catch you later.